Start making space, everybody. The ghost is coming home. Hey guys, Jay! Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> guys, life is funny sometimes. I mean, a few days ago, there were a lot of people worried that the Has That Ghost project was... <sighs> falling short of the mark, if you will. I mean, a few days ago, only Ezra Bidger, the first of three unlockable tiers, had actually been unlocked. And yesterday, Kanan Jarrus was unlocked at 14,000 backers. It seemed like a long way to go, 3,000 backers, in fact, to unlock Zeb Aurelios. And I gotta tell you guys, it really did come down to the wire. So I want to take a deep dive and see exactly what happened today and whether or not all of the tiers for the HasLab Ghost Project would be unlocked, freeing up additional room for two additional characters later down the road. Guys, let's have a look at exactly what happened today. Heading over to our friends over at ToyHabits.com. Guys, ToyHabits.com is a wonderful resource for toy news all year round. They have a lot of coverage on some of the biggest names, including Star Wars, G.I. Joe, and of course, Masters of the Universe. Definitely give them a like and a follow. Tell them that Jay sent you. Just a little while ago, they posted that the Ghost, all tiers, have been fully funded. The Road to Reach here has not been an easy one. After all, the Star Wars team has had two previously failed HasLab projects, including the Rancor, which did not make its funding goal, although it did get close. 8,533 backers of 9,000 target goal. It literally came down to the wire and was just a little under 500 backers to complete its goal. It unfortunately did not make it, and ironically, a few weeks later, the Rancor actually showed up in the Book of Boba Fett, which I think would have boosted sales. So in a lot of ways, people are thinking that it was a, just a case of bad timing. That wasn't the case. However, that was not the case with the Obi-Wan Kenobi Inquisitor lightsaber. This was a HasLab project which was coinciding with the Disney Plus television show airing virtually at the same time and it just failed to reach a target audience. It only reached 1,413 backers of a 5,000 backer goal. So with Star Wars HasLabs batting 0 for 2, they really needed a win with this. And when rumors of the Ghost actually being the next HasLab project came out, a lot of attention was drawn towards this as Rebels is a beloved series. And finally, when it was unveiled at San Diego Comic-Con, people literally lost their mind. Updates about the HasLab project, including some choice memes, which kept everybody on their toes. On July 25th, Chaz posted that the HasLab project was so close to funding with 7,899 backers, so close to its 8,000 backer goal, and a few hours later on Hasbro Pulse's own Instagram page, they had announced that the main mission objective had been achieved and that 8,000 backers meeting the initial funding goal were finally reached on July 25th. Cautioning though that the mission was not over, as it only took a few days to fully fund the project at 8,000 backers, many fans were considering this to be a easy slam dunk and that the campaign would run its course very, very quickly unlocking all tiers within a few weeks. This, however, was not the case, as cataloged by our good friends over at Geek Dad Life and channel contributor Brian Brinks, who has an entire set of charts set up on Geek Dad Life, cataloging multiple crowdsource projects throughout the year. Clicking on the HasLab charts brings us to the 2023 Star Wars TVC The Ghost chart. And as we can see, after reaching its initial goal of 8,000 backers, fully funded on day five with 91 hours total, that is pretty much where the brakes started to be applied for the HasLab Ghost. And it just continued to trickle on day after day, reaching a few backers every so often, but pretty much plateauing. It was actually a small progression towards the final days of the campaign. Around the 33rd day, something very interesting happened. As noted here by Brian Brink, Ahsoka episodes one and two aired. This of course was a much anticipated series by multiple Star Wars fans, and it just so happened that it landed on August 22nd, 2023. That same day, whether it was coincidence or not, Ezra Bridger was finally unlocked on August 22nd, as confirmed on Hasbro Pulse, stating that crew assignment number one unlocked. Congratulations to Star Wars fans, the Ezra Bridger exclusive Star Wars Rebels vintage collection card figure unlocked. This of course was a sigh of relief to multiple fans as the first unlocked tier is always the biggest hurdle. The timing couldn't be better as Hasbro had scheduled a Pulse fan stream for Star Wars Ahsoka on August 29th at 11 a.m. During that fan stream, they had announced that Tier 1 had been unlocked, reminding fans that Tiers 2 and 3 were still yet to be unlocked. Kanan Jarrus at 14,000 backers and of course Zeb Aurelios at 17,000 backers. 
They also announced something very exciting for fans, that once all the tiers were unlocked, the full Ghost Crew family would be reunited, as Hasbro would go ahead and produce Sabine Wren and Chopper, rounding out the final pieces of the mural vintage collection cards would be made available for fans to purchase. This was a huge revelation as multiple fans had been questioning what would happen with the entire Ghost crew. And with this new announcement, Hasbro was hoping to encourage more backers and finish strong for the final leg of the campaign. Unfortunately, after the mural TVC Sabine and Chopper were hinted at, the trajectory of the campaign continued its slow march to the final few days. On September 4th, 2023, Chazaguru posted on his Instagram page that they had already reached 13,424 backers and were so close to unlocking tier number Two. Finally, the next day on September 5th, Kanan Jarrus was unlocked at 14,000 backers. Chaz the Guru then reposted an image from SWTVC on Instagram showcasing that three out of the four stretch goals had finally been unlocked and asking the question, will there be a 3,000 backer rush the last day to unlock Zeb Aurelios? This question loomed over everyone who had backed the ghost as it was becoming very clear that not only was Zeb the final unlock, but not reaching Zeb would also mean that we would not be able to get the chance to unlock Sabine Wren and Chopper on the TVC mural cards. Chaz continued to post updates, including this one from Reeves Junctionite on the final ghost projection, possibly reaching 23,000 backers based on the barge, the rancor, and the crest final day surges. And as it so happened, the ghost did in fact have a surge of its own. Three hours ago, Chaz posted this update seemingly out of nowhere. Thousands of backers literally came out of nowhere and 16,561 backers, making it incredibly close unlock of Zebrelios. And only a few hours ago, Zeb was finally unlocked. Hasbro Pulse celebrating this on a post confirming that crew assignment number three unlock Garza Zeberolios exclusive Star Wars Rebel vintage collection carded figure was finally unlocked, bringing a full sigh of relief to everyone who had backed this project from the very beginning. Chaz the Guru, along with Geek Dad Life, Toy Habits all echoed this with posts on all of their individual websites. And if we head back to HasbroPulse.com, as of one hour ago, the counter had read 17,769 backers. As of 8.03 p.m., hitting refresh again on the page, scrolling down, we see that it has actually jumped all the way to 18,956 backers. This is absolutely incredible, guys. Congratulations to everyone who helped to make this happen. This is a huge win for the Star Wars HasLab community. Bravo to the Star Wars HasLab team for making an incredible campaign once again, bringing this HasLab Ghost Project to fruition. Congratulations to everybody who was involved, getting a win back for the Star Wars HasLab and going right back on track. Congratulations once again to the Star Wars HasLab team. Guys, you did it. <laughs> Guys, I gotta tell you, the numbers just do not lie. I want to give a huge shout out to multiple people who helped to make this episode happen. Huge shout out goes to Chaz the Guru on Instagram for all those continual posts and memes which kept us on our toes throughout this campaign, keeping us entertained at that as well. I also want to give a huge shout out to our good friends ToyHabits.com as well as GeekDadLife.com for their wonderful coverage of this continual process to get the HasLab Ghost Project funded. Funded. And of course, huge shout out goes out to Brian Brink for the wonderful charts cataloging the overall progression of how all of these crowdsourced projects by these major corporations continue to progress, plateau, and then finish off strong. Guys, definitely check out those wonderful channels and websites. Give them a like and a follow. Tell them that Jay sent you. Guys, let me know in the comment section below, did you back the HasLab Ghost? and are super excited that it's actually going to have every single one of its tiers unlocked. Are you excited for the new figures of Sabine Wren and Chopper, who will be available to purchase now that the whole project has been unlocked after 17,000 backers? And are you in the running to pick this up in the last few hours, just before midnight, Eastern Standard Time? as there's just a little bit time left to actually get your hands on one of these ghosts now that all of the tiers have been unlocked. 
Let me know those comments in the comment section below, guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this type of content. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. And if you're in the position to help out the channel, guys, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everyone. It really means the world to me. Guys, I hope you're doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. May the Force be with you, everybody. Good journey. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow and really helps the channel to keep growing. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot.